This looks familiar. I remember there being a guy last time that was asking questions in Until Dawn. Huh. Hey there! Hi! Bright time here and welcome to a new playthrough on the channel, Man of Reading! I've been waiting for this game for a heck of a long time, like when Until Dawn came out. Oh, Fudge muffins, dude. <laughs> like, I absolutely adored that game. Like, I spammed the life out of it. Absolutely love that game. So, when Supermassive announced Man of Medan, absolutely, like, fell to the floor just thinking about it because I really wanted to play Until Dawn on the channel. But it wouldn't have been the same. So, I'm really glad Man of Medan's here. I'm really excited. I'm nervous as hell because I'm a wimp when it comes to scary stuff, but I absolutely love being scared. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. We're just going to get straight into the game, so I hope you got your comfy pants on, and I hope you're ready to be scared, because heckers were going to be scared, but I'm so excited. Oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, I just can't wait, I can't wait, I'm really excited. Game already looks great. Music like that really freaks me out. Reminds me of Bioshock. I was waiting for someone to pop out of one of those. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell no! <laughs> Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? Gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? This is Joe. Welcome, you Joe. Have these I got any questions to ask the titles oh curious tell me about my son will i be rich tell me about my son um he's ah uh, i guess i just want to know about my son will he uh is he gonna grow up all right things gonna work out for him bamboo tile dragon tile Oh, I just noticed these so heart and brain okay okay that's cool that's cool <laughs> um well I, I'm like a heart person so let's go with my heart let's do that not very logical <laughs> um, press R2 to pick up objects are to examine it a fish looks like a fish can i move it no that's the i love this i love that it's just it's just so good <laughs> your fortune Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Traits updated. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Yes, I can. Fine. Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. <laughs> I owe you a dollar, dude, I think. 50 cents? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, this is like until dawn. Ah, I'm very slow at this. I like her, she's cool. Ah, I see, I have timers on them now. Circle. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm gonna have to get good at quick time events again. <laughs> I can fight. What are you about? See, I'm doing freaking well. Oh, I'm doing crap now. I'm doing crap now. <laughs> My own bad. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day too. Hey, I could have kept that going forever. We get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. I'm curious about these traits. Reckless. Altruistic. Selfish. Insecure. Eager and guarded. So I'm, I've made him insecure, reckless, altruistic, and selfish. Oh, these could be fun. Bearings. Secrets. Joe. Pictures. Hey, look at all these. There's loads. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Well, at least it did like a really nice little tutorial bit there. That was quite a nice introduction to it. I should check the subtitles. Let me check for them real, real quick. I'm sorry. There we go. Typical sergeant voice. <laughs> Bit wet. Anyone else hear the heartbeats or just me? Oh my god. Are we gonna be fighting zombies? Sick bay. What the heck is going on? Oh, 
Oh, is this his kid? What was it? Two pops. Come back soon. Ah, oh, this is his son. How sweet. Okay, I know the the idea of Until Dawn was to make sure to check everything. So I'm gonna try and do that. I can't make any promises that I'll get everything, but I will try. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, off the bat, there's a dead body. Oh man, have I already screwed myself over by not checking far enough? Just going straight for the thing that twinkled at me. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's okay. Um, I will check on him in a moment. I just want to have a quick gander around just to see if there's anything else. I'm not leaving just yet. No hecker's way is. <laughs> okay, okay, let's check out, let's check. Doc, are you okay? You don't look so good. You don't look so good. <laughs> oh, nearly potato. I kind of want the book that was left on the floor though, you know? Like, that would be nice. Come on, Joe, let's go explore. Oh! Why the hell was I locked in here? Absolutely no way. There's something going on in this boat and I was locked in there. Um, is there only... Can I not come towards the camera? Hey, Joe. How's it going? <laughs> it's just... I didn't even look at the camera myself, so good job me. <laughs> That's so cool, it zooms in on the face. This is just, oh, it's so good. Just very Until Dawn-like, I love it. What that? Is that just unsettling noises? I'm already nervous because I'm, I'm anticipating something. If something runs down the end of the hallway, I'll die. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Come on, Charlie. Let's go. Okay, you lead the way. I will just slowly walk behind. Wait, no. Let's, let's check in Charlie's cell first. There could be something in here. You never... See, there could be something in here. You never know. Have a gander at this. <clears throat> oh, in that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner of, uh, in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to pub to a public brawl? and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. 10 days, approved. How long have we like, been out of it? Let's have a look at here. Okay, so I think I need to come back for that. That's cool. Let's have a look. Have a look, see. <clears throat> Monday, Arthur Miller, private petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer, found in Miller's locker, items recovered, returned to owner Wednesday. <laughs> David Davis, private trespass, two days brig, uh, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders Friday. PFC Lewis Brand public intoxication one day brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave Robert Reed public intoxication one day brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave but that's not us I don't know what PFC stands for so it just goes over my head um Ew. 
Does someone explode in here? <gasps> Can I really not look around the cell a little bit? But this is a little- This camera angle's spooky as. Someone's gonna fall out that hole up there. The noises are spooky. All the banging and stuff. Uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> it looked like- <laughs> Someone- X in time with the heartbeat. Okay, I can try that. I can try that. I'd... It's not... Don't move anymore, is it? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I like that a lot. I was like holding myself still like don't freaking move because we're about to die. What's over here? What the hell? I don't know. What this? Really? Oh, you had a good opportunity to make me jump there. You could have just like, you know, looked in and had someone throw itself at the window. That would have been so freaking good. Also, why did you guys, like, not speak to your commanding officer? Though, then again, he had a gun. If we just went, hey, he could have turned around and shot us. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> a child. <laughs> it was a child. You were right in front of the child. I'm turning around. Because <laughs> I feel like, oh, my God, he's gone after the child. I just feel like maybe there's something over this way. No, no. Oh my gosh. It was a child! Uh, in a minute, mate. I will talk to you in a minute. Uh, maybe I should talk to him now, because that maybe is the way forward. I think that's maybe the way forward. Right, I'll talk to him now. Um, what up, bud? What are you looking at? I'm half expecting a child to be killed up in there, but I'm going to check over here. Um... Hey, Charlie, help! No, 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 let's not go. Th oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> no. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. We're not going through the door. Turn back around. We've got things to check out first. Come on, guys. Let me turn back around, please. Oh, this blows. I had the chance to be scared by a child and I screwed up because I thought maybe that was the way forward. Oh, I should check on the child. I kind of want to go back now and check on the child. God damn it. Another step? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Feels like he's been scared to death. Oh, dude, you're ditching me? I'm so miffed that I missed that child. I kind of really just want to go back. Damn it curiosity strikes again and makes me fail so much for trying to collect everything if a hand crawled out like you know just a hand reached out that'd be so freaking scary but look it's the creepy green gas smoke thing hold l1 to walk a little bit faster now i'm good okay 
Okay, I'll hold it, considering you want me to. Can't go that way, bud. Don't bother checking. Bud? So, uh... Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up up there. Yeah, fine. Agree. <laughs> hey, Chuck? <laughs> you see that kid over there? Uh, no? You feeling all right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, my Nelly Furtado. I'm all right. <laughs> I love this game. It's been like 25 minutes, if that, and I love it. Why is Charlie, get over here. Oh, thank God I got the gun. This guy's got the knife. <laughs> Not that I'm going to be good with a gun. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm prepared for quick time events. I'm prepared. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you didn't get me that time, kid. You did, but not as bad. Kid? Hey, come here. Where the hell did Charlie go? Charlie? Oh God, no. Charlie! reverberated from my headphones do not like love it i love it hi kid are you a siren wait hang on you're my kid oh you're my kid with a knife you're a ghost with a knife child what in the hell is that is amazing oh death Until dawn. 
but it was a woman that sung it last time. This is a man. This is a rocking man. I love it. Concentrate on it. It looks mega. Nah, mate. Not dealing with a black haired girl with it. No, a white dress, black haired girls with it hanging over the face. Absolutely not. It's the ring all over. And then the woman in black there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Heck, I'm so excited. Fudge muffins! This is amazing. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. And welcome. To my repository. Thank you for the warm welcome. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate. Greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. All right. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like this is a really good stopping point. You know, we've just done the introduction and we've been introduced to that guy whose name has already slipped my mind. You know, the really cool British guy? Yeah, him. Uh, and then the real story starts here. So I think this is a really good place to stop <laughs> you know i know i know i know i know i really want to continue as well which i'm going to be doing in like three seconds anyway but i'm going to end this episode here for now it's a nice introduction it's already freaking scary it's beautiful love it i hope you're excited because i'm like really hyped and excited i've waited for this game and i'm so excited to be playing it this is so amazing <laughs> 
I'm so excited. I'm getting a bit hit up, aren't I? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this episode here for now. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button down below. You know I appreciate your support. Make sure you look after yourselves out there. Your guests don't trust children. Apparently, they are kind of murderous ghosts with knives. <laughs> Don't trust ghost children. <laughs> Make sure you have a fantastic day and I shall see you guys in the next episode. See ya. <laughs>